Guys, this noise has been following me around for days. I can't figure out what it is. Let me show you. That's not it. What? That doesn't make sense. There it is. I went out and bought the cheapest full-size Olympic barbell you can on Amazon, the Yahi Tech Olympic 7-foot weight bar. Well, full-size is maybe a little bit generous because the weight is off, but it's still really highly rated at 4.7 stars with well over 1,200 reviews on Amazon alone. And if your first thought is, well, those are all just COVID buys, you're right in that some of them are, but people are still buying and handing this thing five-star reviews. And to add to its accomplishments, it's actually cheaper than Titan's least expensive barbell, which if you know my track record with Titan is a pretty big accomplishment. It's $100 plus $5 shipping, but you can often save that $5 because Amazon will run a coupon, which makes it $100 to your door, which means this barbell costs almost nothing to produce and ship here from China. Yahi Tech is another of those great companies that makes everything from nail tech to outdoor furniture. But in their defense, they do make a professional stripper pole. So go ahead and feel free to check them out if you wanna see some Amazon softcore reviews. Now, I know it sounds like I'm making fun of them and I am picking on the company a little bit, but not the girls. I couldn't do that stuff. Now, if you're saying, I know this guy, he's gonna demolish this bar. But I'll have you know, though I'm thorough in my reviews, I'm also fair. So for every negative I say about this bar, I'll try to include one positive. And that should last about three minutes, so nobody keep track. And I'll also offer some budget upgrades to this bar, that is, if I can manage to talk you out of it. So let's get started. Let's start with the bar's description so you can get an idea of what you're buying. Now this is straight from the company who is obviously not gonna oversell their own products, so we can take this as accurate, and word for word. The Yai Tech 7 foot Olympic deliver the perfect combination of value, construction, sleeve space, spin, and neural. It does also say it's ideal for professionals or light commercial use. And just so we can refer back later, they mention it has a high grade metal construction coated with anti rust silver finish. And that the end spin. I mean, end spin is pretty good advertising, and that whole thing's a pretty good promotional read. I actually debated reading some of the reviews on camera because there's some good ones about. You know, let's say uh, having to constantly tighten the bolt in the sleeve because it's always coming loose or somebody having to file down the sleeves because their plates only went halfway on because the sleeve diameter is inconsistent. Or unfortunately, there's a lot of people only getting one of their spring collars. But jokes on you bitches, cause I got two. But they do fit with some real effort. So we're gonna count that as my nice statement. But saying those clips are awful would be generous, which is impressive because you can get a decent set of collars for like $13 shipped. We even did a full video on collar choices. Now I get lowering your expectations some because of that price, but well, I don't wanna ruin the surprise too much for you, so let's just cover some of the specs real quick and see where that gets us. It weighs 36.34 pounds, which is an oddly specific amount of weight, or 39 and a half pounds, depending where you look in the listing, but a standard Olympic barbell is gonna weigh 20 kilograms, so 44 pounds or 45 pounds, so we weighed it and it weighed 35.9 pounds. And a woman's bar weighs 33 pounds, so we'll call it a hybrid bar. It's got a weight capacity of 300 pounds or 330 pounds, depending where you look on the listing, which is a weight that most men will outgrow at least on deadlift before too long. And Winnie is pushing the limits on that as well. It does feature a standard sleeve diameter for Olympic barbell, and I did try a lot of plates out on it, from bumpers to machine plates, technique plates, and everything in between. And they all fit, but I felt like I was defiling my plates by putting them on it. Now the sleeves could be a full video all on their own. So we're gonna be here for a while, so you might wanna buckle up. Now these things rattle and jiggle a lot in every direction, left, right, up, down, you name it, even with the bolt tightened down. This thing moves and rattles more than a girl from the 90s trying to give you a handy, and the sleeves feature this sick chamfer that doesn't allow me to get my plates tied up against the collars, making this thing move and rattle even more, which is a pretty impressive accomplishment, to be honest. The sleeves also have this deep rib spiral pattern, which is fun on a condom, but not on your barbell. Combine that with some of the cheapest quality there is, and loading and unloading your plates becomes a fun chore. And it also produces the loudest, most obnoxious hollow ringing noise that just grinds at your soul. <laughs> It's advertised to have a 13.6 inch loadable sleeve length, but I measured it at a little bit over 15 inches. Not that it actually matters, you can't really put that many plates on it with that weight capacity. But in the sleeve's defense, they do a better job of providing a grip for those plates than this knurling does for your hands. It's like they engineered them to 
grind away at your plates. Now we all remember our patented cat tongue knurling system from our Midas Revenge barbell review. And in that video, the Ohio bar got a zero cat tongue rating. That's not to insult the knurling on an Ohio bar. It's very good and very clean, and it's passive, which it should be for a general use bar. Now the Ohio power bar in that video got a two cat tongue rating, but this thing, this thing does not deserve a rating in our system. If it got one, it would be in the negatives. It's the first ever negative rating on our cat tongue knurling system. Congratulations! It has a diamond knurling pattern that's about as clean and straight as my friends and I hanging out on a Friday night. It has a shaft diameter of 30.5 millimeters or 30 millimeters depending where you look in the listing because nothing ever lines up. So I measured it and it's 30.2 millimeters. But either way, I'm not used to handling that thick of a shaft. And by that, I mean most bars are 28 to 29 millimeters. It's listed at seven feet long, which is 84 inches and also listed at 86 inches long. So I checked and it's 85 and three quarter inches long. So not quite an Olympic standard barbell length, but it's close enough. Yield and tensile strength, hmm. Not at this price point, though if you're new to lifting, typically any barbell listing that doesn't at least provide a tensile strength is hiding it for a reason. The spin, well, you saw the intro, but if you do take the barbell apart and clean it up, it does spin as advertised. And by the way, if you still buy this thing after this review, just get ready to do some work because you are gonna have to remove those sleeves and clean out the metal shavings. Yeah, that's just one side. Then lube up that shaft to make sure it'll actually spin. But you may wanna throw some Loctite on that bolt because it loosens up constantly. I should also mention that there's no bushings in these sleeves. It's just the metal of the sleeves rolling on the metal of these shafts. And the finishes, well, wait, they don't actually mention a finish, just a color, which is silver. Actually, to be fair, it's anti-rust silver, so not chrome, which is what this finish is trying to emulate and is often put on cheaper barbells. So let's just assume they spray something on it and it doesn't hold up particularly well. Now I know that was a lot of negatives and I did promise positives, so here we go. Luckily, there's no oil residue to wipe off your bar from shipping because coating your barbell as a rust preventative in the long trip over from China might have cost you one to three cents. And yes, we're counting that backhanded compliment as a positive, and I guess, well, it's cheap and you know what? The knurling is better than bare steel. And if your requirements for a barbell are that it's a bar and it holds weight, you will not be disappointed. And it's all that and a little bit more, but I mean, we should really emphasize the little part. When it comes to the packaging and the shipping, it arrived quickly, actually days before the original estimate. So the entire process from ordering to delivery only took a few days, though the packaging was okay at best. At least they put a little bubble wrap on the end of the bar. I mean, it didn't do anything, but it's the thought that counts. Now let's quickly talk about some alternatives to this bar. So if you really want a budget bar, and to be clear, it's hard to expect much from a barbell for under $200 shipped. When you factor in shipping costs, material costs, uh, making a profit and production costs, it's kind of scary what you're left working with. But these are a few alternatives that I would suggest that are an upgrade to this bar. First, I'd look at the Titan Economy Olympic Barbell. At least with this one, you're purchasing from a known fitness company. Well, actually they kind of make a little bit of everything. So they've got all your needs covered. Want some nice outdoor teak furniture? How about a new bucket for your skid steer? A new wheelchair ramp after you try maxing out this bar? What about some targets to practice shooting? Or just use some of their crappier products and shoot those instead? Well, Titan's got you covered. At $120 shipped, you're still gonna have to call your expectations, but in that extreme budget range, it's hard to really get and expect much. If you can save up a little bit more, I'd probably do that and upgrade further, but if you're stuck in that budget range, it is an option. It has a 700 pound weight capacity, a chrome finish, weighs 20 kilograms with bronze bushings and a snap ring end cap design. From there, you could look at some of their other budget bars, which are under $200, or you could look at something like the Beast from Cap, which is $140 to $180, depending on the day. It's a budget bar, but unlike the Yahi Tech has published specs and is a step up from the Titan bar in weight capacity. Technically, anything is a step up from that Yahi Tech bar, but this is a much better bar. From there, you could look at the Bells of Steel Bare Naked Powerlifting Bar, which we'll be doing a full review on soon, but in the meantime, it's another step up. Though it's a bare steel bar, so it's gonna need more maintenance. And at $200 shipped, it's a difficult price point to beat. And if we're drawing the line for budget bars at $200, it's one of your best options. Another option would be to look at Rogue's Boneyard Bars, but getting one shipped for under $200 would be difficult. And if you're watching a video about a barbell that costs $100, and I recommend you one that costs $300, well, 
that's a little bit silly. Like, comment, and subscribe to help us on that algorithm. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I'll see you next week.